Hi, and welcome to ScienceForUs.com. This short tutorial will show you how to get your students logged into our website. This process is fairly easy. If you don't have too many desktops or laptops or Chromebooks, you might consider doing this process for your students and bookmarking it so it's easier for them to find. If not, here are the fast steps. First, go to scienceforus.com. Once on the website, look at the top toolbar. There's a little yellow tab that says Log In. Go ahead and select it. Once on this screen, keep selecting school users. Select the drop-down tab to find your state and click on it. If you're a trial user, you're in the state of Florida. Then start typing in the first three letters of your school's name. Wait. Find your school and then click on the link. You might need to click Submit. This is now your school's homepage. Consider going up to the top of your toolbar and creating a bookmark for this page. Then, when your student goes to log in, when they go to scienceforest.com, they'll always be on this web page. Note that there are two tabs, Student and Teacher Admin. The default selection is Student. Logging in as a student, students will simply just type in their username and then move down to their password and click Submit. If you're a teacher, select the Teacher Admin, add in your username, password, and then click Submit. If you've made a mistake, simply just click here to find your school. This is the student main page. The student's assignments are right here. The first thing that you should have your students do, though, is actually go over here and click on this video called Student Guide. The video will pop up, and Cypress Pinkerton will tell your students a little bit more about the student interface, and what to do first, and where to look. The video is less than two minutes long, and it's a great place to start. We hope that your students enjoy using Science for Us, but if you have any questions or have any concerns and you need to connect with us, please just email info at scienceforus.com. Thanks.